Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today, we're going to be doing a playthrough of a game that is currently on Kickstarter called River Valley Glassworks. Yes, this game is designed by Adam Hill, Ben Pinchback, as well as Matt Riddle, and published by All Play, who are helping sponsor this playthrough. And in this game, we are taking on the roles of woodland creatures who are in charge of gathering glass from a river so that we could make fine wares out of it. Yes, we are entrepreneurs. But in this game, we're just doing the glass collecting, and we're trying to score the most amount of points by the end of the game. Now, this gameplay is one to five players and it plays in about 25 minutes and so as per usual we are going to start with a quick teach of the game and then we'll go straight into our two-player playthrough if you'd like to jump around we'll include timestamps in the description below now before we begin we do have to mention this is a prototype copy of the game so things are subject to change in the future if you're interested in the campaign there's a link in the description down below which you can check out lastly if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future please consider subscribing and with that we are ready to begin. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for a two-player game of River Valley Glassworks. Mm -hmm. Welcome to River Valley. Yes, there's a river in between a valley. Yes. And so like we were mentioning earlier, we are entrepreneurial woodland creatures and we own our own business. Mm -hmm. And so my business is called Cornelius D. Shellworth's Glasscraft. Nice. I am the River Valley Glass Collective. Yes. And these are not asymmetric. Uh, I just figured we'd introduce ourselves. Yeah. Now as business owners in this game, we are trying to collect glass pieces from the river in order to place them into our glassworks. Each player starts the game with a satchel that contains three pieces of glass, and each piece of glass in this game comes in a variety of colors as well as shapes. And that is important because on your turn, you are either going to place a tile from your satchel into the river in order to collect tiles, or you're going to collect tiles from the lake. So then, in order to collect glass from the river, you're first going to choose one of the pieces of glass in your satchel, and then you're gonna place it on a tile that matches the shape of the glass. And so that is why shape is important. So as you can see here, there is a particular uh, diamond shape to it that matches the shapes that are on this tile. Mm -hmm. So the shapes are on the corners of the tile. Now, after doing so, I am then going to choose one of the adjacent tiles, and I'm going to take all of the glass that's on that tile. And these glass pieces go directly into my glassworks. Alternatively, if maybe I didn't have a glass that has the matching shape of a tile <laughs> that I want to put out, instead of putting out one piece of glass, you can put out two pieces of glass from your satchel that have the exact same shape, but you can place them on any tile. So it does not have to match uh, the specific tile shape, which means if I really wanted, say, these two glass pieces, because these two match in shape, I can place them here. And then again, I would choose an adjacent tile to take all of the glass pieces from. And then I would place them into my, uh, my glassworks. Mm -hmm. And at the end of my turn, the now empty tile would move uh, to the very end because the river continues to flow down towards the lake, mm -hmm. bringing all of the glass pieces with it. And I would then refill from the bag a glass piece here equal to the number of stone symbols that are on the adjacent tile. So I'm just going to reset this yeah. <laughs> so that we don't forget uh, the initial setup. Now, the important part is how do we add glass pieces to our uh, glassworks? This is very important because this is how you will score points at the end of the game. Each player's glassworks board consists of several columns and rows. And so each column can only contain one color of piece. And uh, the rarity of each type of glass is actually listed here on the left-hand side of your board. There is also a black uh, glass piece that you will use specifically in a five-player game. Mm -hmm. So you will not see us use that uh, in this playthrough. Now, if you collected more than one color, you can choose the order that you place these in, but you always have to fill in your glassworks from left to right. And so as you can see here, this color is quite rare, but this one is really common. And you're, you're gonna wanna take that into consideration because uh, let's just say I were to place these like this. Just as an example, over the course of the game, you're gonna be collecting more of these pieces. So let's just say uh, this is a very bad example because you're gonna have way more than this, but this is a very basic one. At the end of the game, you're going to score rows and columns. And the way that rows score is dependent on how many pieces you're able to fill um, along the bottom here. So as you can see here, the bottom most row is going to score me four points because I have tiles all the way up to here. Mm -hmm. However, if you have any empty spaces in a row, you do not score any of the pieces after that empty space, which means in this second row here, if this spot is blank at the end of the game, this 
this is actually gonna score me zero points, even though I have glass pieces uh, after that blank space. So you're really gonna wanna be cautious about where those blanks are. In addition, you will also score columns. And the way that columns works is you're only going to score your tallest two columns, and you're going to score whatever uh, value they reach. So in this very bad example, <laughs> my tallest two columns are these two. And right now, this column here will score six points, and this one will score four. Now, in the case of a tie, let's just say I had another uh, column that's only too high, I would score my lower two columns, which means I would only score these two rather than this one, which scores more points. So that is something to consider as well. Mm -hmm. Over the course of the game, we're going to want to try to fill our rows as much as possible, but also try to make sure our tallest two columns are, are as far to the right as we can. So as you can see, that is sort of a conflicting uh, Scoring concept, I yes, guess. Yes, especially when you're trying to consider the rarity of these different uh, pieces of glass. Yes. Now, as you can see, each column maxes out at a total of five glass pieces per color. So if ever you take more pieces than what you can store, each piece will go into the overflow area. And at the end of the game, each piece will be minus three points. Mm -hmm. And that is the majority of what we're gonna be doing over the course of the game. Now, instead of placing and taking glass from the river, alternatively, you can choose to take four pieces of glass from the lake. And all four pieces will go directly into your satchel, which has a maximum allowed of uh, uh, five glass pieces, which means if you ever take more than you can hold, same concept. The rest of the glass pieces will go into your overflow area. And you must take four from the lake. It's not up to four. Yes. And all of the glass pieces that we refill will come from this bag. Mm -hmm. So that's essentially the game. Each time we take glass, we are going to be uh, updating our inventory here because as soon as somebody collects a total of 17 glass pieces in their glass works, so not counting the ones in your overflow area, that will signal the end of the game. At that point, you finish out the round so that players have equal number of turns, and then each player gets one more turn before you go into final scoring. And again, final scoring is just gonna be each row, the way that we described, and then your tallest two columns minus each piece in your overflow area. And at that point, whoever has the most points wins. Now we've already sneakily cleaned up, so I believe we are ready to begin. Are you ready? Yes, we just gotta figure out who goes first. All right. All right, ready? Rock. Paper. So, <laughs> I get the first player uh, uh, character over here, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Okay. So again, I can either place a tile, one or two tiles from here onto the river to collect, or I can take from the lake, which I'm definitely not gonna do. I guess I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna place my triangular glass piece over here okay. onto its matching shape, and then I have to choose either this tile or this tile to take glass pieces from. I do not wanna take a rare piece so early. Yeah. So I'm gonna take these two, and now I can choose the order because purple is more common. I think I'll do it like this. Sure, makes sense. Just to try to prevent some blank spots. Yep. And now the river flows. So this is gonna go to the end here. Yeah. yeah. And how many pieces uh, there? One, one. stone. One stone. One glass. There you go. Ooh, a very rare yellow. <laughs> oh no. You want it? Not right now. All right, well, it's back to you. Yeah, I don't want it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this like heart-shaped blue one. Yes. I'm going to place it onto this tile here. And then I'm going to take the two white My glass. My gift to you. Your gift to me. Uh, Thank you. These are the was... most rare. Or not the most rare, the exact opposite of that. They're the most common. Most common. So we'd like to get this column kind of going up yeah, and then we can nice. move over. All right. Don't forget to update your inventory. Yes, so I have two. And then will you be moving the river for me? I will. Thank you. And then now we put two uh, pieces of glass so on that. Two stones on the adjacent tile. During setup, it's the opposite. You actually place a number of uh, glass equal to what's showing on the tile. Mm -hmm. But as you play the game, it's it's different. Okay, so then back to me. This is not bad, actually. So I'm gonna place this. They're both the same shape. And I'm just trying to avoid putting the same color okay. <laughs> on the same tile, you know sure. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna place that there. Okay. And I'm gonna take these two. So I have right. to place this here. And Which this has to now go into its own column yep. because it's a different color. Okay. And it's not bad because these are fairly Yeah, they're common, in the rare range, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So now this moves down. And how many pieces? Uh, just one? one. Yeah, one piece of glass. One piece of glass. Okay. And I now have four in my you glass do. works. All right, back to you. Ooh, okay. So I think I like this because these are kind of rare. So I'm just going to go ahead and just plop this heart shape onto the heart shape okay. right there. And then I, this is my only option here. Now I have a lot of white. Uh, so I got to be careful with that. So, but there you go. Yeah. Real simple. Because now you have a risk of overflowing. I do have a risk of overflowing. Yeah. Okay. 
So just be cautious. All right. <laughs> So then it's back to me, I'm down to one glass. And typically when you're down to zero or one, now is when you typically start considering taking from the lake. Sure. And considering my alternative is placing this here and mm. taking from either of these two, that, I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> so I will take from the lake. So I am going to take these four. Okay. So two of them are the same shape. I got a triangle now and that one. Yeah. All right, and again, from the lake into the satchel, River goes into... So no river. overflowing because you max five. Yes. So you're going to refill four here. I am. Here okay. we go. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay. Ooh. Very good. Look at that green. Okay. So uh, I was thinking about taking from the lake, but I think I see an opportunity to get some of my row filled out here. So I'm going to put this oval shape onto this one. Okay. And I'm going to take these three unique colors finally. <gasps> Okay, so uh, my order of operations here that I want to do is probably the rarest to the furthest left. So that's this kind of teal color. The rarest? Uh, sorry, the other way around. The most uh, common? Common, yeah. And okay. then we have this uh, jade-ish color, and then now orange, <laughs> which is more rare. So nice. There you go. That looks great. It does, does this. Every time we've played this yeah. game so far, he fills up this bottom row. Fill it up. There's a lot of points. Fill it in. If you get to the very end here, it's that's 22 points. 22 points. Yeah. All right. So now I just need a yellow and a, uh, what is the other color that I'm missing? The river the dark green. must flow. Mm -hmm. There you go. We got some white. Uh, how many pieces do you have? Oh, sorry. So three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm seven. at seven. All right. Ten more, and that's it. Ten more. Okay. Well, I know for sure that you are going to be taking from the lake. Yeah. So you on can pretty turn. much do so whatever. So I can set myself up, maybe. Mm -hmm. So then I think I'm going to take these two pieces because okay. they are the same shape. So I can now place them on any tile. It does not matter the shape, and I will go here. Okay. And I will take. These two. Okay. Uh, I'll place the white. It has to go there. There. Yeah. yeah. And this one. There's no options there. Yeah, there's you, no options. It must be done. That yeah. is true. I did make it sound as if I was deciding. You did. But yeah. <laughs> I was not. Yeah. Truly. So I have what? Six? Six, I think. Okay. And this is going to get two pieces two of glass. Pieces. Okay. And now it is back to you. So you can decide which four you'd like to yeah, take. Yeah. This is really important, isn't it? the lake. Because I'm going to have to refill that. Okay. I'm going to take this triangle, oval. Uh, let's take this one and this one. So everything except the heart I'm taking. Okay. And these are all going to go into my satchel. Nice. So here's one, two, three, four. Very good. Very good. All right. Back to you. So now it goes back to me, and I want this, okay. which means I have to play my triangular piece Ooh. here. Not good. So I wanted that one. I, I <laughs> placed these two on there so that I could have more than one yellow. I okay. Know. So this has to go here. Okay. The blue will go there, and then the two yellow pieces will go just like that. That's All good. right. That's good. River must flow. Mm -hmm. So how many? Uh, just one piece of glass. On just, this tile? Because yeah, there's one stone, so that's why you yes. fell for one. Okay. And how many pieces did I gain? Was that four? So I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. All uh -oh. right. Uh -oh. Wow, that's fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to you. All right, well, let's go ahead and put this uh, triangle out there. And then I'm going to take these two. So now we're just going to fill in the gaps a little bit. Okay. There we go. And now the river flows, mm -hmm. and this is going to get two pieces. Two pieces. So that green, I think we're both missing that green on our boards, right? And yellow. Yep. All right. For me, yellow. Okay. So then I think I'm going to place out uh, this one, this tile. Okay. It's the pentagon shape. Yeah. So I'll place it here. That's good. And I'll take these three. It's too good. So mm. I get a blue, a purple, and a green. That green that I've been wanting. Dang it. All right. And now this is going to get two. Uh, two on it. Two glass? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. So then it goes back to you. Problem. There you go. <laughs> That's problem. Oh, there's two right there. And I now have a total of 13 glass pieces. So four more and the game ends. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and place out this blue diamond piece, mm -hmm. put it right there, and then I'm gonna collect these two. So now I get a pink, which is needed. Okay. I'm gonna put that there, and then this blue is gonna come on there. Very good. And now this moves down. So it gets one piece of glass. One piece of glass. Okay, here is okay. the one glass. Oh, it's yellow. I have 11 pieces. 11 here. pieces. Okay. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, these four pieces from the lake. So this, I think these four Everything except is what that I'm one. thinking. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. Okay, into new four comes into the lake. My satchel it goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get a new four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Mm. All right, back to you. Me. I don't really like my options, but I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to place this out here, and then I'm going to take this one. Mm -hmm. So we can take the pink. 
Okay. And then this blue is going to stack up there. So now we're getting close to How the How many anger. pieces do you have? Uh, I believe I picked up two, so 13. So it's we're getting close to the end here. So 13, 13. Yeah. All right. So that goes back to me, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, wait. We have to fill, fill one, one piece of one glass. One piece of glass? Yep. Okay. Here we go. Mm. All right. Well, seeing as you only have this one tile left mm -hmm. that can go here, mm -hmm. I think I, I really want this piece in my... Glass works, so I'm gonna place this out here. Okay. It's only gonna get me one tile, but mm -hmm. I can at least hope to take it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you put it out. Oh, I would have to put out two pieces. That's fine. Oh, that's gonna be so good. <laughs> oh well, I did what I did. Yeah. No regrets. Okay. So two, two glass. <laughs> Well, I'm going to have to Maybe take from the lake regrets. because I don't like what's going on here. This shape is only for this, which is Those two these pieces. two, which is not my ideal. I mean, you would fill up that column. It's That's, a five. That's yeah. not very good. Ten is, ten is two good. Two points. Ten is good. Basically. Uh, let's just go. That option will most likely be there, I'm assuming, later. Maybe not. But I'm going to take from the lake. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just swipe all these because they're all the same shape, and it's going to give me that flexibility to go wherever I want. Mm. Okay. So um, go ahead and put out four more. Okay. So we have one, two, three, and four. There we go. Nice. Ooh. It's a green piece. A rare one. All right. Well, I am going to put out a heart piece. Okay. Here. So this mm. is the heart-shaped tile, and I'm going to take these two. So I now have the orange, and I'm going to go purple, which actually is not that great, because now this is my tallest column, Okay. which I guess it was tied for tallest anyway, so okay. it good. is what it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we need one glass, please. One piece of glass, I got you. Oh, thank you. All right, here we go. One glass. There we go. And this is, what is, what do I have? What am I at? This is seven, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, seven. 11, 15, 16. Okay. okay, so one more piece and that's gonna mark the end of the game. Okay, I think I'm gonna take these two uh, lighter green ones. Okay. I'm gonna drop them onto this tile. They're the same shape, so it's gonna act like a wild, and then I'm gonna take these so three off of this. So all of the glass pieces on your satchel are the same shape, right? They are. These are the colors that you wanted to put out? They are. Oh, yeah, they okay. Are. Yeah. Sneaky. So now I'm filling up some column stuff here. There we go. Okay, perfect. <gasps> wow. Yeah. That's so good. Okay. Well, this is gonna move down, mm -hmm. and we need one, one glass one piece single here. I think glass you have the bag piece. now. There we go. To place okay. it up. Thank you. Because the way I see it is you're not going to want this one here because these yeah. two colors, you cannot place them. They'd both go into your overflow for right. negative six. There are more colors in the game than there are uh, columns yep. on your, your your glass works, and even more so in a five-player game. Yeah. I think there's eight, eight, and there are seven. Mm -hmm. so. uh, and I should have 16. So we are, we are very close to the end here. Okay. All right. Well, I guess this is actually a really tough decision right now, but I guess I'm going to... Place this here. Okay. That's just the matching shape, and I'll take these two. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't know if that was the right thing it's to do. It's a move. It is it a bad move? Yeah. <laughs> you you did not want to take this one. No. That's like negative six points. I definitely right didn't yeah. want to take that. Which means so fine. it is what it is. I've chosen I've chosen my path. Mm -hmm. uh, now this brings me up to more than seventeen. So we do need a one glass piece one glass. here okay. that triggers the end of the game. And now we're going to finish out the round. So I was a start player. You're going to get one turn, then I will get one more, and you will get another. The final turn, yeah. And then we'll go into final scoring. But before we continue, this is a prototype copy of the game, which means uh, things have been added to the rule book since the creation of it. And so as soon as the end game is triggered, if anybody has fewer than three glass pieces uh, in their satchel, then they draw until they have three. Mm -hmm. So I only have two, which yep. means I'm just going to draw randomly from the bag. It gives you some options, yeah. It just gives you options. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. So now it goes back to you. Okay. And it's scary because you can technically go anywhere because these are all uh, yeah. the same shape. I'm just trying to figure out like where where is the most value for me right now? Because if I take two whites, it's only going to get me you know, an extra, what, two points? And you want your taller column. I want my taller to column. To be the pink, yeah. This one, yeah. Which is this over here. So I would be able to stack up like that and this, but this blue is kind of cramping my style a little <laughs> bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drop off these two. Okay. And I will put it over onto, let's put it onto this one. Oh, okay. Interesting. And then just take everything here. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and flow the river for you. Thank you. And this is gonna get two glass pieces. Two glass pieces, yes. All right, here we go. Okay, okay so now 
Our final turns. This is my last turn. This is looking pretty good, mm -hmm. honestly, because it helps me fill in my rows. And I get a blue and a light blue. Yeah, I oh, so it, by putting that there. It but. does make my columns less valuable, but it is what it is. These ones are too rare. They're mm -hmm. not out there. So what do I need to do this? This shape or the heart? All right, let's do the heart. I'm going to take these four. These two are going to go here. And then now I have a light blue and a dark blue. All right, yeah, that is pretty far out there. Eh? The end of my game. Okay, very good. So we need two glass pieces on that. Yeah, which I don't even think I can legally get to. But I'm just gonna place fine. them yeah. because the river would do it anyway. Yeah. My only so. option <laughs> is this piece going onto this and then collecting these. So now, if I do that, I would have, I would have enough. This would be good. This is actually good. Okay, so I'm gonna put yeah, this on. Definitely wanna. I'm gonna take this down. Are you considering taking from the lake? <laughs> Uh, well, I wasn't sure if this white was going to cramp my style over here, the but overflow? these got to the to the top right there. So these will be my two tallest columns That's for That's nice. Yeah, so that works Pretty. out. Yeah. Well, there you go. We are now at the end of the game. So we're going to do some final scoring, shall we? Yep. Here we go. So rows first. Rows first. So again, you have to skip over uh, blank spaces. So for me, should I just go first yeah, for go rows? Yeah, for it. Do it all. Uh, these, all of my rows... Actually, sure. they're all legal. I did not plan that, <laughs> but they don't have any blank spaces in between. So I'm basically just going to count uh, the maximum that they reached at the bottom here. Yep. So this is 22 for the first row, 16 for the second row. So that's what, 38, mm -hmm. 11 for this row, 49. which is 49. This top row here or the second to top is four points. So is that 53? 53, yeah. And then one point. 54. <laughs> the top most, so 54 yeah. in rows. Nothing to scoff at. That's oh, very okay. good, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I have holes. So uh, <laughs> so it's basically going to be this one, 16 times yeah. 2, because they're identical, so uh -huh. 32. 32. Are you keeping track of how much you have? I'm not, yeah. but we'll remember this later. <laughs> okay, uh, 32. Uh, yeah. And then this ends here at 2. This here ends at 2. So it's 32 plus another 4. So um, 36. 36, yep. So I believe I had a total of 54 in rows. I think so, yeah. So now my tallest two columns are going to be this first one, as well as this second one, because I had a two-way tie here, and ties are broken uh, in favor of the one the that lesser. scores less points. So, so this five is plus eight? Five, is that eight? Yeah, five plus eight, so 13. 13 so plus 54, whatever uh, what? that is. Uh, 67. 67, that's okay. my, my final score. Okay, so mine was 36, yes. and these two are my two tallest, so we're going to get uh, 10, so that's 46 plus another 20. Ooh. 66. 66? Yeah, what'd you have? 67? 67? Did you say 67? Oh. 67. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> by one point. Dang it. Yeah, you got, yeah, one point. <laughs> that's, that's, wow. Yeah. That, that mm. column scoring is no joke. Yeah. Because when you first look at this, you know, it looks like the rows are really, really strong. Yeah, they are, yeah. Because you know, it is kind of hard to get, you know, all six out of seven colors. Yeah, I really wanted like a yellow or a, that dark green one that I could never get. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to kind of look out for that color to try to snag it. Yeah, you have two of them over there. I do. Yeah. <laughs> But your your column scoring was column very, scoring very strong. Was good. I really wanted. I didn't want this one, and I'd rather it be here for thirty points. Oh, you would have won. That would have yeah, been twenty been more points. Twenty more. But I couldn't find a combination to do it in the amount of turns we had. That's interesting because yeah. the purple is technically more common than the blue, but it really depends on the combination. Yeah. So that if it comes you can out on the river. Shove the less rare ones on yes. the far right. Acquire yeah. them and then score a bunch of points right. by ra like racking it up. That, yes. That's the that's the challenge there. That is so, true. Yeah. There you go. And we played a two-player game, so we were able to do a bit of a tactical thing where it's like, I know that you are taking from the lake, so now I can kind of go back to back. In higher player counts, it's not going to be that simple to do something like that. It's also going to play a little bit longer because everybody just takes, you know, a few more Same turns. turns yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. That is River Valley Glassworks. If you have any questions about anything you saw here, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. This game is currently on Kickstarter, so there is a link in the description, which you can check out at your leisure. Lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.